So right now, people are speculating that Canada will introduce a $25,000 exit tax. It was announced by someone by the name of TD Leaker Online. Now, this is where it gets juicy because yes, this is not factual information just yet. This is something that they are thinking is being discussed in the back end. However, I can tell you something that is a lot worse than this $25,000 proposal to exit the country. There's an exit tax in Canada that you have to pay if you have assets or if you have money that is not taxed. And that exit tax can be much, much larger than just a small $25,000. Now, yes, $25,000 is a lot of money. Nobody wants to pay that. This is something that they're definitely talking about. I, I can't guarantee it, but they're definitely talking about this. They're trying to look for more ways to keep people inside of their country, inside of Canada. And this is definitely something that will, of course, make less people move away because now they're incentivized to stay because they don't have to pay $25,000. Now, again, this is not an actual tax. It's not an actual fee. But this is something that's on the table. But like I said, Canada does have an exit tax. So let's go over the exit tax that you have to pay, which in my opinion is far worse than any $25,000 fee. And if you think I'm making it up, listen to it right here. So how much did you have to pay to leave Canada? So my approximate exit tax is about half a million Canadian dollars. And shout out to you, Tim. That's one of our friends here at GenZone. And shout out to Thomas. He is also one of our friends here at GenZone. Now, what is the point of this video? The point of the video is to say that, yes, okay, people are speculating that $25,000 exit tax might come into play, but it's actually a lot worse than that if you are successful. If you leave the country before you make all this money, then sure, you can leave without any problems. But once you have a business that's successful and you move too late, then you could have the exact same fate as Tim, someone paying $500,000 to leave the country. Now imagine what you could do with $500,000, reinvest into your business, put it into the stock market, whatever you want to do with this, that $500,000 that now is just gone could have been invested back into him, back into assets and could have made him millions and millions of dollars over the course of 30, 40 years if invested properly. And unfortunately, many people have the same exact issue as Tim. They have to pay huge exit taxes because they leave the country way too late. So how can you avoid this? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Number one, the moment you see that there is some success with your business and you have a trajectory to make you a lot of money, you need to immediately start weighing out your options. Immediately consider becoming a non-resident. I can tell you clearly that we did this ourselves here at GenZone. The moment we knew that we were going to be paying too much money in taxes, we started to evaluate our options. We were looking at different countries, different uh, tax havens, and eventually we came to find out that we wanted to live in Dubai. Dubai had the most favorable tax environment. And then we started to do this research for ourselves and we found that Dubai was definitely the best environment to relocate to. High quality of life, low taxes, good safety, and great opportunities, especially for business. The only other city that I can say is comparable to Dubai in terms of opportunities. Now, when I say opportunities, I just mean opportunity to network with successful people, you know, launch a business and have good chances for that business to be successful. The only other place that I can think is on par with it a little bit is Miami and California. The whole state is fantastic. And to be a little bit more specific, probably Los Angeles. And the best part about moving to Dubai is that there is essentially no risk associated to this. If you move to Dubai, right away you're making money back and more money on top of that in tax savings. So let's say you're making 100 grand per year, well 30,000 plus is gonna go away in taxes. Well set up your company in Dubai, that 30 grand that you're saving pays for literally everything and more. Even grab a first class ticket, business class ticket to Dubai and it'll cover that as well. If you come from a city like Toronto, it's gonna cost you even less money to live in Dubai as well. So there's a lot of benefits and I just think that overall, if you wanna save money in taxes, it's 100% worth giving it a go. Most people come to Dubai for the first time when they set up their companies, uh, for our clients at least, they haven't even been to Dubai before. Even for myself, speaking for myself, the first time I ever really went to Dubai was when we set up our company here in Dubai. So if you want a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how we can set up your company in Dubai, watch this video right here. And if you wanna book a call with us and you wanna get started with our services, you can use the link down below to book a call.